It was time you stole the words right out of my mouth. I was going to say, simply put, today's ceremony was powerful. When you take a step back and you think about it, in the last nine years, Steve Gleason has gone from playing in the NFL to being diagnosed with ALS. He can no longer move, speak, or even breathe on his own. But despite those physical limitations, limitations rather he pushed on with his advocacy work and for that work was awarded the congressional gold medal today he truly is an inspiration as speaker of the house it is my honor to welcome steve gleason and his beloved family in the historic statuary hall at the u.s capitol hundreds of people gathered to witness history steve gleason unable to move without a wheelchair unable to communicate without a computer awarded the nation's highest civilian honor. If the definition of a hero is someone who takes a terrible situation and makes it better for everyone, that is Steve Gleason. Some of our nation's most powerful political figures praised the Spokane native for his tireless work to advocate for ALS patients. Washington Senator Patty Murray said Steve's name is synonymous with hope. And beyond his tremendous advocacy work, Steve has shown that no matter the challenge or obstacle, when we refuse to give up, there's nothing we cannot overcome. Gleason was diagnosed with ALS nine years ago after an eight-year career in the NFL. Despite his physical limitations, he has worked to give other ALS patients the technology and resources to live meaningful lives. And through the Steve Gleason Act, Congress assured that technology was available through Medicare. Gleason's former teammate and current NFL quarterback Drew Brees praised his tireless work. There is no person on earth with the strength courage, passion, and tenacity to overcome all obstacles and make the lasting impact that Steve has made. When it was time for Gleason to deliver his remarks, he thanked his parents and his wife, Michelle. This is not the life we imagined, and it hasn't been easy, but through communication and compassion, we're carving out an awesome existence. And in true Gleason form, he delivered a message of hope and inspiration. I suppose I don't see my story as a football story, or even an ALS story, but rather a human story. The truth is that we all experience pain in our lives, but I believe that the problems we face are our opportunity and to find our human purpose. Fewer than 200 people have been awarded the Congressional Gold Medal, so it really is rare. Steve Gleason today became the first ever former NFL player to receive the award. Back to you guys. It's pretty incredible, Mark. And we know Steve Gleason's family was there today. Um, were you able to see their reactions at all? I was. In fact, I spoke with Steve Gleason's wife, Michelle, right before the ceremony, and I kind of asked her, I said, what do you think about being here at the Capitol and receiving this award? And she kind of looked around and she chuckled a bit and she goes, this is crazy. But then she went on to say how proud she is of Steve and that how she, excited she is that he now has this award, this platform to continue his advocacy work. Back to you guys.